Welcome to Podcast 1-2, Segments and Rays. A segment is a piece of a line. That is, if we had a line, chop off a piece of it. Now we have a segment. That piece actually has ends. So we call these end points. A segment is a piece of a line with end points. These points have names, so we actually label the points, say, A and B. Now we are looking at segment AB. The symbolism for that would be A, B, and that on top. As we saw earlier, a line AB would have the little arrows. But this is a segment. So, just this little piece. Segment AB. This segment also has the name segment BA because it has no direction. Therefore, either is acceptable. This brings us to the idea of between. That is, here's a point. It's going to stand for H. Here's a point over here. It's going to stand for R. Is the point L between H and R? Well, that is true if you can measure the distance from H to L. You can measure the distance from L to R. And if that adds up to the distance from H to R, then we consider L to be between. Between basically means collinear in a way so that these measurements add up. So again, the distance from H to L might be, well, you can add it up. Looks like 4. The distance from L to R, that would be 6. So does that mean from H to R is going to be 10? If so, we got a winner. 4, 6, the whole thing, 10. So, simple word that you've heard before, now put in a mathematical context. Between means collinear in a way so that one distance plus another equals the whole thing. This has been given yet another name. That's the uh, general word between, but we have another word for this. It's your first actual geometry rule, the segment addition postulate. This is just an example of that. So B is between A and C if the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C is equal to the distance from A to C. Now let's put this together in your first real geometric algebraic word problem. Read the following. If C is between A and B with these following measurements, distances, unknowns. Let's find the length of this segment AB or find the distance from A to B. How are you going to deal with this? I hope you deal with it in the following way. Step one, read the problem. We did that. Step two, let's draw this situation. Can you draw C is between A and B? Well, I need an A. I need a B, and C between does not mean in the middle, somewhere between. Where you put it isn't important, as long as it's collinear. Uh, the diagram has actual segments. So here we go. Here's the segment AB, segment uh, CB and AC all put together. Now let's actually put this information on the diagram. AC is X. I'll use a different color for that. How about red? AC is X, so I'll put X right here. AB is 3X. The whole thing is 3X. Perhaps uh, some other kind of notation like this, signifying that all the way across, or a big loop. From here to here is 3X. CB is only 15. Because we have the idea of betweenness, we can do the segment addition postulate. This segment plus this one will equal the whole thing. Let's write that equation. Segment, that is, segment AC, or the distance from A to C, plus segment CB, the distance from C to B, equals all the way across. Let's substitute the information. X, 15, and AB is 3X. Now we have a working equation. Next, let's solve. That's algebra. We can uh, combine the x's by subtracting x. I'll do a different color for that. How about green? We'll subtract x from both sides, thus giving us 
15 is equal to 2x. Then we'll divide by 2 on both sides, giving us x is 7.5. And we're done. No, we're not done. We solved, but let's verify that we answered the question. The question is AB. AB is equal to 3 times x. So AB is equal to 3 times 7.5, which is obviously quick. 22.5. Now that we've given segments the idea of length, we can have several segments equal in length. Numbers are considered equal, but objects such as segments are considered congruent. And this is the symbol for congruent. So in this particular diagram, if the red, green, and blue segments were congruent, and the orange segments are also congruent, but different than the other three, then we have a way of marking that information with dashes. So we say that this is congruent to this, is congruent to this, by a little dash right across its middle. But if the orange ones are equal but different, two dashes. If we had a third set of segments, we'd use three dashes. So segments being congruent, we use a congruent symbol. If I uh, went a little bit farther, let's label these segments, giving them actual names like A, B, C, D, E. Like here we are. Segment A, B is the same in length as segment B, C. So since the objects are congruent, we use a congruent symbol. But the length of A, B, for example, if that was say seven, and the length of B, C, that was also seven those distances are equal. So again, equal sign is for measurements or numbers. A congruent symbol is for the objects. The topic now is segments. Segments have measure. If something were to cut this segment in half, creating equal measurements, then we say that segment is bisected. When the something that's doing the cutting is the bisector. So it could actually go through a segment. The nouns we have so far would be, uh, say, a point. Could split the segment in half. Perhaps some straight object like another segment could be splitting this segment, the blue one, in half. Or maybe this is a ray. Or maybe it's a line. Or maybe it's even a plane, a little more difficult to draw, that would cut the blue segment in half. But if the blue segment is bisected, or cut in half, then we mark those halves as congruent. If they're mar not marked as, if they are not marked as congruent, then it's not bisected visually. The specific word for a point that went through that middle is midpoint. So this point right here is considered the midpoint of this segment. So again, a segment can be bisected with a bisector. So the thing doing the cutting is the bisector. The thing that got cut in half uh, is the bisectee, I guess you could say, or it became bisected. Ray. If a segment is a piece of a line, some people would say a ray is half of a line. Now, wait a second. Lines are infinite, so there's no such thing as half of infinity. But a ray is a piece of a line with only one end point. So this is considered a ray, an end point, and going forever in one direction. There's a more specific definition in the PowerPoints of this lesson. So let's try to sketch the following. A ray, AB, bisects, cuts in half, a segment called CD, and that place that it cuts it in half is M. Since it's cutting in half, M must be the midpoint. So what is being cut in half? CD. Let's draw CD. CD is being cut in half. This is doing the cutting. So here comes AB going through its middle. A, where is B? Anywhere we want. But this is specifically M, the place where it was bisected. So ask yourself now, is the blue segment bisected? Not with my hand drawing, this is awful. But if I mark them as congruent, then it is guaranteed that the blue segment is cut in half or bisected. So here is the answer for 
Ray AB bisects segment CD at its midpoint M. Thus concludes podcast lesson 1-2, Segments and Rays. Thank you.